channel today i'll be creating two ubuntu virtual machine on azure azure takes credit card to create an account and i don't have one right now so i have borrowed my friend's azure account to do this lab click on availability set create and then click on add and now i'll give my resource group resource group is already created in the name of unmole so i'll just select that name i'll give it as demo i don't think giving tag is necessary availability set have created i'll go back to my home page and click on create a resource and then i will select ubuntu server 18.04 virtual machine and give resource group as unmole and then name will be demo change my authentication type to password and give it as demo that is my username and give some password to it inbound ports i will select everything http https and ssh so yeah availability option i have to select availability set that is nothing but my demo availability set which i have created recently so i'll go to disk no need to change anything to networking and nothing to change in management i have to change this boot diagnostic to off i click on create so it will take some time Nothing much difference in AWS and Azure. In Amazon Web Server, I'll call it as instance to create a virtual machine, and here I'll say as create VM. So my deployment has been completed and now I'll go to my home page. I'll go to my virtual machine that I have just created and copy this public IP address and then I'll open my putty and paste it in here and click on OK and I'll get putty security alert. All I have to do is click on yes and log in as demo. I created username and password while creating this virtual machine so I'll just give once my credential get authenticated I have to become a root user saying sudo su and then I have to update my console apt get update hyphen y I have to install apache for that apt get install apache 2 hyphen y so now hit enter once installation is completed i have to start the installed apache service space apache 2 space start and then i'll check the status of my virtual machine by giving service space apache 2 space status so it says active i'll go back to my microsoft azure browser i'll copy my public ip address and paste it in browser so yeah so it's currently running and then i'll go back and repeat the same step which i did while creating first virtual machine i'll go back to home page I don't have to create a vulnerability set. I'll go with the one which I've already created and I'll hit on virtual machine. Now the resource group is same, unmole. I'll call my virtual machine as star. Authentication type will be changed to password from SSH public key. And then I'll create my username that is demo and I'll give some password. I just can't say what I'm giving. And then
inbound ports, I'll select everything HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH. Then availability option is nothing but availability set, and availability set is nothing but the one which I created that is demo. And no need to change in disk, networking, management. Oh, yeah, in management, I have to change this boot diagnostic from on to off. Then click on review and create, and then create. So my deployment is under process. And yes, there is another difference between AWS and Azure. AWS runs a bit faster than Azure. Since deployment is underway, I have to wait. So my deployment has been completed and now I'll go to my virtual machine which I have created just now that is star. I had to change this Visual Studio Enterprise to select all and then I'll click on refresh so that I can see and now I can see my both the virtual machine which I have created recently. Still putty configuration is required to access my star virtual machine. I'll copy my public IP address and I'll open putty configuration. Once I copy this, I'll open putty configuration and paste that on host name. Then I'll click on open. Then in here, Putty security alert, I'll click on OK. I have to give my login credential that is demo, then password. So I'll run this command. And right after that, I have to become a root user by giving sudo su. And then I have to update my console apt get update hyphen y. And once I update, my console I have to install Apache so apt get install Apache 2 space hyphen y and now I have to start my Apache by saying service space Apache 2 space start and I'll see the status by giving service space Apache 2 space status so it will show my status whether it is active or not since it is active i'll go back to my microsoft dashboard and i'll copy my star virtual machine public ip address and paste it on browser it's running i'll go back to microsoft azure and i'll search for the service load balancer i can see it in here i'll click on add i have to mention my resource group that is unmol and name will be demo load balancer that is demo lb and the region is fine so i have to give a public ip address give us demo ip and hit on review plus create so now it will take some time in azure uh, while creating my load balancer i can just mention which instances i'll be connecting to load balancer and everything at once but in azure i have to do it separately now I'll go to my backend tool. The backend tool is nothing but selecting the virtual machine which I have created in Azure. I'll give name as my backend. And then virtual network, I'll click on Unmold VNet. And then associated to virtual machine, I'll select my demo virtual machine and as well as star and then I'll go with the IP address of my virtual machine. So I'll hit on create. So my backend tool will be soon created. I mean it will take some time to get deployed. And once it's done I'll go to health prop and click on add. 
name will be my health and the protocol I'll click here as HTTP and then I'll go with the default time for interval and unhealthy threshold and click on OK. It's still updating. After that, I have to go and click on load balancing rules. But since my backend tool is still update, I can't add one. I have to wait. Let me just refresh the page. So now I'll go to my load balancing rule I can add now. I'll give name as my HTTP rule. And then IP version will be same IPv4. Then front end IP address no need to change anything. Port is on 80 since HTTP. Backend pool as already selected that is my backend which I created and health probe also has been selected as my health that I have created for this load balancer. So nothing to change, I'll click on OK. My HTTP rule is getting updated. I have to go to my load balance and I can see that I have public IP address not a DNS name as in AWS. So I'll just copy my public IP address of my load balancer and paste it on the browser. So now I can see my Apache web server. My load balancer has been connected to my demo and star virtual machine and it's currently running. I believe this video was helpful. If yes, please like this video as well as share and subscribe for more.